if they wanted to do like mini golf or like go to like the gator park or something but Jesse was like oh yeah I did Animal Kingdom once so I kind of like to go back there so I was like okay because I mean I'd go to a Disney park every single day of my life if I could so this was Jesse's idea to come here we do have some fast passes uh, flight of passage amazing ride um, expedition Everest great and I'm so mad at myself. I got fast passes for Kilimanjaro, but then I wanted to try and to change the time because there was multiple times available. And so I canceled it when I went back to change the time. Um, they were gone. So we're going to have to try to figure out um, Kilimanjaro. We'll just have to get a return time for that or something. But anyway, um, yeah, so we are just getting here now. Um, Animal Kingdom. So we'll check in with you guys in a little bit. So there it is, guys. I can never get tired of seeing that tree, and I know I probably put it in every single one of my vlogs, and I try not to do that. I try to film different things, but I can't help it. She's right there. She's gorgeous. The boys are here. Uh, I don't know what they're doing. Jason's, Jason's trying to hide from the sun, which, I mean, hello. But he's five. Um, so anyway, we're heading over to Flight of Passage, which is which quickly became one of our most favorite Disney rides, because um, it's just it's really really awesome. And I was able to grab fast passes for it this morning, which was um, a real surprise, because those usually fast passes are usually gone months out and ahead of time. And I was able to grab them this morning, so whenever that happens, it's really, really a good thing. I keep checking back for more, too. Oh, over here is a bunch of flamingos. Here, I'll show you. You know what they call a bunch of flamingos, guys? It's called a flamboyant. And you know why they're pink? They are pink because they eat brine shrimp, which turns their feathers pink. So there they are. A flamboyant of flamingos. Yeah, see? You guys are learning something today. I like to be educational and informative. Not to mention we homeschool. So it's good that the boys, you know, come to a place like this and um, learn stuff. So yeah, they are. Alright guys, so we are heading on to Flight of Passage. This is our first ride of the day, which like I said, I grabbed fast passes for it. I was so excited. Um, they sent you into this room. I don't know. It's, it's a little, it's a little you know, but It's part of the experience, I guess, but anyway. Okay. Yes. Great. Welcome to the Avatar program. Soon, you're going to have a chance to undertake an amazing Navi Rite of Passage, flying on the back of this powerful animal called an Ikron, or as we call it, a Banshee. Door safety throughout this entire experience, always remain seated and supervise your children. Once the link takes place, you will be connected to your avatar and sitting on the back of an Ikron. Experience the breathtaking beauty of Pandora. I'm excited. But you might also face some of its greatest challenges. Some of the so this is the room where you ride the ride. It's actually really cool. So these are the, the simulators. So you sit in there. And then you store your stuff here. And yeah, so this is what it looks like. You get in. And I'm going to let you guys go. So what do you guys think? That was our third time riding it this trip, and um, I don't know, it just never gets old. I did manage to find a couple of hidden Mickeys, though. Uh, it's hard to explain where they are, though, because if you're not looking for them, you're not really going to find them. Um, so if you're not, I don't know if you've ever been to Disney before, but it's fun to try to find hidden Mickeys throughout all the parks, because the uh, designers, they always try to, like, hide little Mickey heads, um, and people try to find them. So I did find a couple, but I bet you I can find pictures of them on Google to show you the ones that I found, right? Yeah. But yeah, so that was super fun. Um, we do have a fast pass for Navi River, but that's not for like another half an hour, so we're just kind of 
kind of walk around and see what there is to see, I guess. It's, it's really hot. Jason wants to just keep ducking into um, dark little corners. So we'll find some place cool for him. And um, so he doesn't get cranky. What? Yeah. What did you say? So you don't get cranky. You know you will. <laughs> All right, guys. So we'll talk to you in a bit. Right now, Safari, Safari. Animals on both sides of the truck here are called uh, white bearded wildebeest. Now the white bearded wildebeest are a herding migratory animal. Now they do migrate hundreds of thousands of miles across the African savanna each and every year. Now they're often nicknamed new, and that's spelled G-N-U after the grunting sound that they're often heard making. Now, can you imagine 40 pounds of hair on your head? Now lions are territorial animals, so they do roar. When they roar, you can actually hear the sound travel about thriving to this day thanks to that farmer's help because they lack the dexterity to jump over the fence. Now these eggs here on the ground are ostrich eggs. Ostr so we're going to do something that we've never done before. Uh, this is called the Up, uh, what's it called? The Up Bird Show? I don't know. Um, but it's a bird show anyway. And it's fashioned after the movie Up. So I'm going to turn the camera around so you guys can see this. It's really, really, it looks, it looks like it's going to be really cute. Who is your furry friend? He's my dog. We found him in South America. And he's <laughs> another bird show we've seen it then but this is a really really cool sight look at that guys that is expedition everest and look at this because they have a show in here now called rivers of light if you haven't been to um, animal kingdom in a few years you probably haven't seen it but i love the boats you can sit in there relax so yeah we're heading over to everest we have fast passes for that, so we're gonna head over there. But meanwhile, I gotta find Jason and Jesse. We've got Jaden here with me. We've lucked out, the sun went away. 
Not that that's lucky, but it was really hot earlier, so we're not too sad that the sun went away. Um, it's just been cloudy, which is fine. It can be overcast because um, the sun just makes it that much hotter, and Jason's miserable in the heat. I can handle the heat. It doesn't really bother me at all, but Jason really doesn't like it, so he's kind of had a like a rough day, so I'm going to go get him some ice cream. So, rain happened. We got stuck in a torrential downpour. We are soaked from head to toe. Running to our fast pass to um, Dinosaur, which we rode. <coughs> yeah, it was fun. But, yeah. We, we dried off during that ride a lot because yeah, it's right when we got right when we got undercover, I was like my my pants were like a shade darker. Hi. And Ergo is still a five year old. And I had a bug in my hair, and it was, I like, went like this, I didn't know I had it in it. I went like this, and I pulled my hand away, and I had a bug stuck in my finger. Like, he was holding on my finger. It was awful. Awful. So anyway, we're hiding out in the gift shop at Dinosaur. Um, yeah. Hi, Jason. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> yeah, we're a little, we're a little mess right now, but, and my, sh my feet, my feet are soaked. Are so you a nervous Rex? I'm a nervous Rex. Nervous. Yeah, just a shirt with it. <laughs> nervous Rex. Anyway, yeah, that's that's what's happening right now. Because these guys decide to ride Everest like four times in a row. So, yeah. But that's all right. We're still, it, it cooled us off a lot. It's nice. Yeah. Let <laughs> me <got> my mouth. <laughs> that's better. <laughs> All right, we'll, uh, we'll catch up with you guys later. What ride are we on? Uh, we are on. Primeval World. Yeah. Primeval World. I... So, oh my... Yeah, we're getting rained on. Yeah, oh my gosh. Why are we doing this in the rain, guys? I don't know. Oh my. <laughs> Whoa! Oh my god! Oh my god! We're gonna Uh oh! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm going to drop you guys. Don't guys. Don't drop it. <laughs> Don't drop it. Uh oh. Is that it? I'm sorry if we're getting you guys all dizzy also. Oh, oh my god! I can't even see what's happening! Hey, there's a car over there. Oh, you guys can see. Oh, we're done. Was that fun? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so the thing about this ride is the exit actually takes longer than the ride itself, I'm pretty sure. We have to walk like five minutes to get out of this. But you walk all around the whole ride. And yeah, that's what we're going on. So we're gonna make our way out of the park. Uh, we stopped and got some some candy. Yeah. So ever since the boys were really little, they were in strollers. You know, um, two, three, four, five years old. We would always go to this one candy store and I would let them pick out a bag and you know the candy, you, you pull the lever and it goes in the bag and you can go and get different kinds, different kinds. So, and Jason got... Got bananas. He likes the bananas, but anyway, um, it was a tradition of ours. To, uh, we used to let, to let them get a little baggie of candy in um, whenever they were getting cranky or, you know, fussy or whatever. Um, I would just give them a little bag of candy and it made them happy, so... It's fun to carry on the tradition even though they're 
so much older now, but you know, it's, it's why you make traditions, I guess, because um, it's, it's, it's just like a fun memory or something. But yeah, so we did our, our yearly candy run. <laughs> it's, a little, it's a little expensive for candy too, but um, it's well worth it though when you think of the memories and just a little bit of nostalgia, you know. But anyway, um, yeah, we're slowly making our way out of the park. We got drenched, and everybody's drenched. My feet are wet. My feet are sore. Um, so, yeah, we're just going to head out. Hopefully, we'll have internet back at the house. Um, I really hope so. I hope so, because I need to be able to do some um, editing and uploading videos and stuff. So. If not, we can go to, like, Starbucks or something and bring laptops. Well, apparently there is uh, internet at the uh, uh, front, yeah at the I front office. They have internet, but I really don't. I just want to sit and watch TV for a little bit and just chillax because I have no idea what we got planned for the next two days. We have two more days left here, and we've just been going, going, going. So I kind of been leaving it up to the twins to decide what we're gonna do. So yeah, um, we've just been going, going. So I have no idea what we got planned for the next two days. But we will make sure we bring you guys with us. All right. We'll catch up with you guys in a bit. Maybe. If we don't just conk out when we get back to the house.